Now, on Biography. The place, Kirksville, Missouri. The year, 1905. Unfortunately, Frank Schwengel predates the camera, so we don't have a baby picture available of him. But we were able to unearth this early cave painting of him. As you can see, he was a very cute baby. Soon, his family would move to the bustling metropolis of Davenport, Iowa, where he would spend his childhood torturing his little sister, Dorothy. See that look in her eyes? That's fear. Frank was an extremely wild little boy with a passion for sports. Frank didn't have what we in the academic field call book smarts. He didn't have street smarts either. He had what we call gym smarts. That's right, he was always able to get that A in gym. And he would take those A's in gym and forge quite a high school sports career. And when it came time for college, after rejections from barber school and trucking college, he got into the University of Iowa, where he would play football. He would go on to become an All-American tackling dummy for teammate and future Hall of Famer, Alex Karras. After college, it was on to the military. He got a cushy assignment in the Iowa Air National Guard. But unfortunately, he would fall into the wrong crowd and turn up missing his last year of active duty. Then it was a move to California to go to work for Rexall Drug, where he immediately gained a reputation for keeping a neat and orderly desk. It was at Rexall that he would meet the love of his life, the future Glenn Schwengel. She was his boss and he was a flailing trainee, but somehow they made it work. To be near his beloved Muscle Beach, they decided to buy a little Santa Monica beach house which has become a very little Santa Monica beach house. Then Frank decided he wanted to start a family. And in February of 1968, they had Francis. And it was every bit as creepy as it looks. After a while, Frank decided he wanted some human babies and they had Chris and Kurt. After a couple years of eating watermelon in the backyard, Frank decided the boys needed something more. And that's when they discovered the Santa Monica Boys Club. It was there that he would launch a 30-year career as a volunteer, starting with coaching bitty basketball and flag football teams, serving 14 years with the Parks and Rec Department, working 25 straight pancake breakfasts, and receiving commendations along the way. He would also work at a retirement community and receive a Junior Achievers Award from Abe Lincoln himself. And he also made two unsuccessful bids at City Council. Most people feel it was his view on dog parks that would cost him the election. He even spoke to Gandhi about boys club politics. Nowadays, his family has expanded to include two daughter-in-laws. And as much as he loved being a father, he really loves being a grandpa. Another summer day has come and gone away From Paris and Rome, but I want to go home Maybe surrounded by a million people, I still feel all alone. Just wanna go home. Oh, I miss you, you know. And I've been keeping all the letters. That 
that I wrote to you Each one in line or two I'm fine, baby, how are you? Well, I would say them, but I know that it's just not enough My words were cold and flat And you deserve more Another airplane, another sunny place I'm lucky, I know, but I want to go home I got to go home Let me go home I'm just too far from where you are I want to come home 